12-year study published in the British Journal of Cancer that followed over 60,000 Britons, half of whom were vegetarian, suggests that vegetarians had a significantly lower risk of developing cancer than meat eaters. The study included 32,000 meat eaters, over 8,000 fish eaters who ate fish but no meat, and roughly 20,000 vegetarians who ate neither fish nor meat. Over the follow-up period of 12 years, there were 3,350 incident cancers of 20 different types, including 2,204 among the meat eaters, 317 among the fish eaters, and 829 among the vegetarians. The scientists calculated the relative risk of developing cancer among the three groups and adjusted for age and confounders such as smoking, alcohol, BMI, exercise, and whether the women took oral contraceptives. The results showed that overall, vegetarians were 12% less likely to develop cancer than meat eaters. And despite this modest number, it actually means that a change of diet could prevent 2 million Britons from developing cancer. However, the impressive numbers came when specific cancers were looked at. They found that vegetarians were 45% less likely to contract leukaemia, stomach and bladder cancers than meat eaters. The vegetarians also had a 50% lower risk of lymph and blood cancer than meat eaters and were 75% less likely to develop multiple myeloma, cancer of the bone marrow, compared to meat eaters. And for these cancers, the fish eaters had much the same risk as the meat eaters. Researchers speculated that these numbers could be due to something in meat, perhaps viruses or compounds that cause mutations, or it could be a protective effect in vegetables. However, they found that the risk for prostate, breast and bowel cancer was the same for vegetarians and meat eaters. This may be due to the consumption of eggs and dairy in a vegetarian diet. So let's quickly look first at the impact dairy has on those prostate, breast and colon cancers, and then secondly the impact eggs have on them. Prostate cancer is strongly linked with the consumption of dairy. In this study it was found that frequent dairy consumption could increase the risk of prostate cancer by two and a half times. The Harvard's Physicians Health Study found that having two and a half dairy servings each day boosted prostate cancer risk by 34% compared to having less than one half serving daily. Consumption of dairy products has also been linked to higher risk of breast cancer. This may be due to the powerful hormone in dairy called IGF-1, which promotes cancer growth, and or it may also be down to 5-alpha-P, a natural sex steroid hormone present in dairy that's a direct precursor to a testosterone metabolite that promotes breast cancer. In this study, researchers found that high childhood total dairy intake was associated with a near tripling in the risk of colorectal cancer compared with low intake. Next, let's have a look at eggs. This study found that eating half an egg a day or more has been associated with nearly three times the risk of breast cancer, three times the odds of getting colon cancer, and twice the odds of getting prostate cancer. Another study found that people consuming approximately one and a half eggs per week had nearly five times the colorectal cancer risk, compared with individuals consuming less than 11 eggs per year. This study found that men who consumed two and a half or more eggs per week so one egg every three days, had an 81% increased risk of lethal prostate cancer. So these studies may explain why the vegetarians had the same risk of prostate, breast and colon cancer as meat eaters. What would be really interesting is to see what results a whole food plant-based diet could achieve as it removes both meat, eggs and dairy products. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.